An opportunity to confront fascism came in July 1935. A German passenger ship, the Bremen, sailed into New York Harbor, proudly displaying the swastika flag. A demonstration was immediately organized. Bill Bailey and a group of seamen sneaked aboard the Bremen to take part in a daring protest. There's already about 10,000 people on the dock screaming and hollering and carrying swastikas, free Ernest Tailman, uh, down with Hitlerism, and such and such and such. The demonstration is already really in progress. The 20 minute whistle blew. So we had to make a break for it then or never. Here they guys all blocking everybody from going forward, standing there. They go, soon we got down there, we pushed the officer, one of the guys out of the way, and the guy said, Foss is loose. You know, one of the officers, what's the matter? And one fellow uh, who led the way, uh, we called him a low life McCormick. That was his nickname, a wonderful guy. He didn't waste no time in explaining Voss is loose. He just belted the officer one and rolled them over. So he hollered to me, keep going, keep going, keep going, get get up there, get up there. So it was, that's the way it was. So I just, young enough to hurdle these big uh, seat breakers, and I got up to the bow. Anyhow, there I was with this flag, and I thought it'd be an easy deal. I remember yanking it, and the first the halley part of the halyard ripped. <laughs> ripped. And I thought it was almost home free. All I had to do was give it another yank, but it would not give. And I gave it a third yank, and a fourth yank, and a fifth yank, and it would not give. And you believe in panicky. I was, and here we had the job already done, and a son of a bitch of a smart sticker would not give. And I didn't know what the hell to do. I would have eaten the thing necessary to get it off. And the crowd on the dock was just absolutely hysterical. The roar was just crazy. So I turned around, and it was this guy named Duffy. He just said, uh, hold the flag still, hold it still. Give me the hat, give me the rope, hold it still. And he took out a switchblade knife, and I heard click, click. Zoom. And he brought, uh, let it go on that part of the halyard, and the flag is now home free. And it was, I believe me, it was a, a moment void. Everything had ever happened there was just to see that son of a bitch just flutter. And the German went stark mad, absolutely stark mad. And the crowd on the dock, stark mad with delight. Those arrested were released and could claim a victory in bringing national attention to Hitler's government. In fact, the Third Reich, in reaction to the desecration of its symbol at this demonstration, established the swastika as the German national flag. As the storm gathered in Europe, 